If you acquired a building like this and wanted to turn it into something that looks like this, are you better off to remodel or build brand new? In this video, I'll break down the pros and cons of building new versus remodeling your rental properties. Stick around until the end of the video where I'll share the numbers on this exact property and how you can invest with me on a deal like this. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate investing education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Whether you plan to live in a property as your primary residence or you're planning for it to be a rental property, you should take the same approach to deciding whether you should build new or remodel. Let's first look at the pros of building new versus remodeling. Benefit number one unexpected costs and surprises. I have yet to do a renovation where I haven't been surprised by something I've found or a challenge that has come up. These unexpected surprises usually translate into having to put more money into the project. If you're building new, you definitely eliminate almost all unexpected costs and surprises. Another pro to building new is that you have the ability to hire a builder versus a general contractor. In my experience, builders are much more accurate on their costs and their timelines versus a general contractor in a remodel. When building new and working with a builder, you can ask them for a fixed price contract. You can do this in a remodel as well, but most general contractors on fixed pricing will build in significant contingency in order to protect them from the surprises and unexpected costs that they may encounter. Benefit number two, separating out utilities. It's much easier on a new build to separate out utilities to each one of your tenants. Adding in separate gas meters, electrical meters, and water meters is relatively simple on a new build. This can get costly and complex complicated on a remodel. If all of your utilities are separated out, these are costs you can very easily pass on to your tenants versus having to pay for them as the landlord. The return on investment for separating utilities can pay for itself very quickly. For instance, if it costs you an extra $2,000 to put on a separate electrical panel and meter for a suite and the electricity costs are approximately $100 a month, within a year and a half that already has paid for itself and anything beyond that is money in your pocket. Benefit number three, fire separations and soundproofing. While these can be done on a renovation or a remodel, it's much easier to achieve a higher fire and sound rating between units on a new build. In a multi-unit property, this will be the number one reason why people will want to move out. They can hear other tenants in the building doing all kinds of crazy things. Sometimes it's not even noisy tenants. It can be something simple like a drain pipe that isn't insulated well, and every time a tenant flushes a toilet upstairs, you can hear it downstairs. While these are minor inconveniences, they definitely have a factor in whether a tenant stays in a building for a long time. Benefit number four, faster timelines. On a remodel, there are often times when you need to undo something before you can redo it. On a new build, this doesn't exist, which allows for faster timelines and also leads into the next point. Benefit number five, less maintenance. While we can't allocate zero dollars for maintenance on a new build, the cost to operate a newly built building should be significantly less than a building that has been remodeled. Even when issues do come up on a new build, they are often covered by a manufacturer's warranty or a new home warranty. This can be a significant savings if there are any problems that arise after the building has been completed. Benefit number six, better loan terms. In real estate, there's something called the economic life of a building. If a property is already 30 years old, it might only have an economic life of 25 to 30 years, even if it's newly remodeled. Some new lending programs in Canada, such as CMHC's new MLI Select program, will allow you to amortize a building for up to 50 years, assuming that the building has an economic life of over 50 years. Any new build should have an economic life beyond 50 years, which allows you to amortize your loan over a longer period of time, which will increase your cash flow. If you want to learn more about CMHC's new MLI Select program, I'll leave a link for more info in the description. This is also something I cover in my master class. For more information on how to enroll, check out my website at darrenvoros.com. While there are many benefits to a new build, there are some drawbacks as well. Drawback number one, municipal approvals. When you take a building down and do what we call an infill project, you may be subject to some municipal approvals, such as going through site plan control or meeting various zoning requirements. By keeping an existing property in place and remodeling it, most municipalities will grandfather in certain elements when it comes to zoning and municipal approvals. Drawback number two, there may be different building code requirements on a remodel versus a new build. In Ontario, for instance, there are different building code requirements if you're renovating a property versus if you're building new, which leads to drawback number three, higher costs. 
While this is not always the case, a new build will most likely cost you more than a remodel. But you have to offset this against the benefits I've already gone through. We just completed a remodel of a single family home to an eight unit apartment building and our hard costs came in at around $260 a square foot. This project took us 18 months to complete. Now, there was a global pandemic in the middle of that which stretched our timelines, but we would have been hard pressed to complete this project in under 12 months. Our new build eight unit project on Dufferin that we're planning to start in the coming months, we're getting quoted around $300 a square foot. So on a similar sized renovation of around 6,000 square feet, the remodel cost is about $1.56 million. And the new build would come in around $1.8 million. The difference being that we'll have a brand new building and our builders are quoting approximately nine months to complete this project. As you can see, building new costs more, but it can take less time, which when you consider the cost of financing a project like this, sometimes it can work out to be the same. If you're interested in finding out more about how to be an investor on one of our projects, feel free to shoot me an email at info at readydevelopments.ca. In order to invest in one of our projects, you must be an accredited investor. And if you're not sure what that is, I'll leave a link in the description below. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Are you more interested in building new or remodeling? Let me know in the comment section below. If you have questions related to real estate investing, you can also leave those there for me as well. If you're not already doing so, you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.